Custom number formatting helps you to display data the way you want in the worksheet. The custom number formats are stored in the workbook they are defined. You can define about 200 custom number formats in a workbook. The example worksheet displays different types of data stored in each column. The column E has some decimal values. If you want to display all the decimal values in the column with at least four decimal places, select the range of data, right click on the mouse and click on format cells. You can see for number formatting, there is a custom formatting. Click on it. Excel displays some default formats. If you want to create a custom format, you can select any existing format and make changes to it. For example, click on 0.00 format. This displays values with two decimals but you want four decimal places. Just add the additional decimal places to the format and click OK. You can see all values in the column are displayed with four decimal places. If you go back to custom number formatting, you can see the new format you created is stored at the end and you can use this format for any cells in the workbook. The column F has zip code values and zip codes in USA are displayed as five digits. If you want display if you want to display them consistently with the five digits, select the range of data and create a custom format with the five digits. Type in five zeros. Click OK. You can see all values are five digits. Excel adds a leading zero for the values less than five digits. Column G has amounts in dollars. If you want to add two decimal places and also add text US dollars at the end of format, select the range of data, create a new custom format Select the existing 0.00, .00 format and add text US dollars within double quotes at the end. Click OK. You can see all values are displayed with the two decimals and at the end, the text US dollars is displayed. You can add any text either before or after the value, but it should be added within double quotes. Column H has dates. Excel supports different ways of displaying the dates. Select the range of data For example, select the custom format D-MMM-YY. This displays the date and 3 byte month and 2 byte year. Click OK. You can see the dates are displayed as per the format. But if you want to display the date always with the two digits, go back to the custom format. And add D for the date and 
then click OK. You can see now the date is shown as two digits. If the date has single digit, Excel adds a leading zero to display always two digits. You can try other formats too like MMM-YY. This will display only month and two digit year. Click OK. You can see all dates are displayed with only month and year. Keep in mind any of the custom formatting you change, it only changes the way data is displayed, but the actual value is not changed. Even though the date is displayed as month and year, if you click on cell, you can see the actual date in formula bar. Excel always uses the actual value if it is performing any calculations. Column I has telephone numbers. You can change the display format to have area code enclosed in parentheses and a dash in between the numbers. Select the range of data Create the custom format. Type in with, within parentheses pound, pound, pound. And for the rest of the numbers also the way you want it. The, f the next three digits and then a dash and then pound, pound, pound. Click OK. You can see the data is displayed the way you wanted. If you want to copy a custom format you created to another workbook, all you need to do is copy one of the cell containing the custom format to other workbook and it will be added to the workbook. This is how you can create custom formats for numbers in Excel. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.